During the Third Great Ninja War, shinobi from other nations trembled at the mention of Fugaku's nickname of Wicked Eye Fugaku. In the final weeks on the war, Fugaku took his four-year-old son Itachi to the battlefield to see Mountain of Corpses with the purpose to show Itachi the reality of the world he lived in as a shinobi. In the anime, during the war, a dear friend of Fugaku died in battle, allowing him to awaken the Mangekyo Sharingan, a fact he decided to keep hidden from everyone. In the aftermath of the war, while villagers mourned its dead at the Konoha Cemetery, a clansman informed Fugaku that there were voices to install him as the fourth Hokage, as the third Hokage intended to retire. Fugaku was then questioned by the man on what they should do with Kakashi Hadake possessing their clan's dojutsu. Understanding that Obito Uchiha fought bravely, he decided to respect the boy's wishes and let Kakashi keep his gift. When Fugaku's wife gave birth to their second son, with Hiruzen's blessing, Fugaku proudly named the baby Sasuke after the third Hokage's father. With the nine-tailed demon fox's attack, the village accused the Uchiha clan of orchestrating the attack as they did not take action against the tailed beast. In the anime, this was because of orders from Dunzo Shimura to focus all the Uchiha's efforts solely on protecting the villagers. This, combined with the Uchiha being relocated further away from the village, caused a rift between the village and the Uchiha clan. Despite this, the villagers still admired Fugaku and the Uchiha clan's efforts of maintaining peace. This did not stop Fugaku from conspiring a coup d'etat that would allow the Uchiha clan to take control of the village out of spite. Recognizing Itachi's prodigious mind and talent, Fugaku began training him regularly, amazed when he mastered the fire release, great fireball technique on his first try after witnessing it only once. Seeing such potential in Itachi and being his eldest son, hence the successor of the clan. Eventually, Fugaku placed Itachi as a spy in the Anbu to pass information back to the clan. However, Itachi secretly betrayed the Uchiha and became a double agent, leaking information right back to the village. Fugaku focused most of his attention on Itachi even defending him when he was suspected of killing Shisui Uchiha. Later, the two had a falling out when Itachi lost hope in the clan, leading Fugaku to shift his attention to Sasuke, even teaching him how to use the traditional fire release techniques of their clan, and was impressed at how Sasuke was able to master the technique after just one week. Sasuke was finally able to enjoy his father's company, but Fugaku advised him not to follow in Itachi's footsteps. After another clan meeting about the coup d'etat, Fugaku called Itachi to speak with him privately. He revealed that the stone tablet within the Naka shrine held secrets to a better world for all, but required an evolved Sharingan to read it at all. Revealing the truth about his acquisition of Mangekyo Sharingan, knowing of his son's hesitance for bloodshed and reluctance to attack the village, he expressed his desire for this revolution to end without any deaths. Insisting that with Itachi's help they could achieve that, Further proving his point, he revealed that he never told anyone in the clan of his Mangekyo Sharingan, in fear they would ask him to use its power to take control of the Nine Tails, to use to attack Konoha. During the Uchiha clan downfall, Fugaku quickly realized Itachi was behind this attack and confronted him via a clone, expressing their respective views. Itachi then confronted his parents, but Fugaku and Makoto did not resist and told Itachi that they were still proud of him, and to promise to take care of Sasuke before they let Itachi kill them. Later, Fugaku was found laying dead on top of his wife's corpse. 